Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Max Greenberg here. Um, so for this presentation, I decided to talk about chapter six and the critical thinking aspect of open-mindedness and listening and slash hearing. Um, uh, throughout the chapter, it says a bunch of stuff about critical thinking just in general, and it gives a table. Um, and it says that open-mindedness, it's table 6.1 for reference, um, it says that critical thinking thinkers are open and receptive to all ideas and arguments, even those in which they may disagree. Um, this goes hand-in-hand -hand with any presentation that anybody ever gives. Um, we all saw it in the political elections. We see it every single day with riots or literally anything on TV. Like, I say something to my best friend, John, who doesn't agree with what I said. He's going to dispute it. Um, but the thing is, people need to have the open-mindedness, which is basically you need to learn how to take in all the information and basically just let them talk. And then they'll let you talk, and you can battle it out as much as you possibly want. Um, but... The aspect of open-mindedness is you don't really care you like your own opinions and you just got to be open to what everybody says like it doesn't matter about your views it doesn't matter about how you think something should go it doesn't matter about the way you perceive something it's the way that they perceive it and you just need to be open to the like different people everybody's different and nobody's exactly alike um, on, in the chapter, it says that, uh, it's on page 6-3, um, Martha Stewart, actually, she has a quote, and it says, without an open-minded mind, you can never be a great success, which is 100% true, I mean, um, with everything going on nowadays, and, like, just say the view on abortion, I mean, like, if you're pro-life, you're pro-choice, um, it's just, you have to have an open mind about everything that goes on. And open-mindedness comes from the big part of abortion to even just wearing a new outfit. Like, you buy a new outfit or you're going to shop and you don't know exactly how you're going to look at it. you got to be open-minded. You never know exactly. You can change up your style like that in an instant. So, um, listening in this case is you have to, like, it says in the book, you're gonna in, you got to understand the fact of listening versus hearing. And listening is you take it in. Um, you understand what's happening. You understand what they're saying and everything like that. Um, hearing is just, it's going on. It's just background noise. Like, I have a TV on. It's just background noise. Um, but besides that, critical thinking is a crucial and critical part so yeah, I use the word critical. It's a critical part of everything we do. You gotta think about what you're doing. You gotta think about what you're gonna say. You gotta think about everything that goes on around you and how the world is gonna react and how your audience is gonna react to what you're about to say. And that's basically it. I mean, it's gotta do with a lot of things and a lot of aspects take role in um, the way people give speeches. Um, to Some people might just give speeches in a way that they don't want to give the speech just to please their audience, to get a better feedback or to get a better response. Um, but in any other case, that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that's it. Thanks.